Hey, it's Hunter. Today we're out here in Azel, gonna shoot this new construction property. So let's go take a look inside. This yard actually seems to be pretty good. Uh, sometimes they're just dirt, but this one actually has some sod, although it's not looking too alive at the moment. Smells like a new construction house. We should leave the ceiling fans off. A lot of these new construction homes are gonna have blue tape everywhere for their punch out list. Um, that's just things that they're going to be working on uh, fixing before the house closes and someone buys it. So that's okay. We'll just Photoshop that stuff out once we're finished. Uh, sometimes the lights don't work, so we're just going to hope they do. A new construction, I'll leave the closet open. We can take a photo in there. Make sure the toilet seat's down. Also want to make sure that you don't have any drawers halfway open like this one here. Thermostat's a cool 78 degrees. It's got a nice open floor plan in here. Living room, dining room, kitchen. These are different color temperatures. But we can uh, adjust that in the editing. Sometimes there'll be some papers on the counter uh, for like inspections and stuff. I'm just gonna stick that in the pantry for now. We'll just make sure we put it back out when we're done so no one has to look for it. Um, I'm not really sure what to do with this uh, since it's just an empty house with uh, nothing going on back here. So I think the easiest thing to do is just gonna be coil it up and set it right here in the grass so it's something that would be easily Photoshopped out. That should be, it looks really bad in the photos but we're gonna Photoshop it out so it'll be all right. When we're done shooting photos, we'll just put that back under here so it doesn't sit out in the sun. But I think that's pretty much everything, so let's go get started taking photos. All right, so as always, I'm going to start on the inside because uh, it's a nice sunny day outside, so we don't have to worry about the rain or anything. So I'm going to start with my entryway shot. I'm just going to set this up kind of at an angle. I don't really want to do a straight on shot here because there's not much going on. Uh, when we got these French doors here with the glass panes, that's a nice feature. So I'm going to go ahead and try to include that in my shot here. I'll probably just close the door a little bit so you can see it more. We're going to look back into the house. Um, this house doesn't have much going on outside of the doorway. Um, it's just a hallway, but we can get a shot so people know what it looks like as you walk into the house. I typically leave the bedrooms for last, um, but since they're right here, we can just go ahead and shoot these. This door doesn't want to stay open, so I'm going to just prop it open with my tripod here. And the same thing here. Opposite corner, about a third in the frame. Gives you a nice good rectangle. Last bedroom over here. Same thing with the wall across from me. And we got this bathroom over here. Just gonna set up the shot so I can see pretty much the whole bathroom at one time. We can go ahead and get the master bedroom because it's right here on the way to the rest of the house. So the master bedroom, I always do two photos. That way you get to see both sides of the room. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot back from this corner. I like to shoot towards the doorway. That way it gives kind of like a line of sight outside of the room. Now in this bathroom, we've got the sinks on the left, shower and bathtub on the right. Um, so I think what I'm gonna just start off with is a good shot straight down the middle, which is going to let us see kind of the whole bathroom in one photo. Um, we got the shower, and the sink in the bathtub. And then we'll probably take two more photos, one with just the vanity and another with just the bathtub and the shower. I'm just gonna stand on this corner here. If 
frame up my shot. Now for the shot of the vanities, it's going to be a little bit difficult here. I think I'm going to have to get over this toilet back in this nook here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stay here for the photo, so I think I'm going to have to run. Um, we might just lower the tripod a little bit just so there's not as much to get out in Photoshop. All right, that looks pretty good. A lot of the new construction homes are just going to be open layout with empty bedrooms. Uh, we got a laundry room here. I think I'll get that after the rest of these rooms. Um, let's see. This is probably a good shot here so we can take, if we get far enough back, we should be able to catch the dining room in there as well as the living room. We can also take a straight on shot here of just the living room. We'll also get it from this angle. I'm definitely feeling that 78 degrees right now. You can see the dining room and the kitchen all together. You can also get like a straight on shot of the dining room here. Um, I think we'll just get one more from this direction. I don't know if we really need this many angles, but it's always better to have more photos than you need. All right, so then we got the kitchen here. So I'm gonna start off with the straight on shot, capture the whole thing. I'm also gonna take it from this angle the side you can kind of see into the laundry room back in the corner we can also take one from this side of the room so on this shot here i'm i'm going to take the oven shot back this way um, and then the sink i'm going to take back this way so I'm going to probably come over here. I'm going to lower this down a little bit. I don't want to be too close to it, make it look like a bathtub. So get back a little bit further so we don't stretch it too much. I'm going to start off with a shot. Of the patio looking out. Oh man, there's so many spiders right there. Another shot I like to do of patios if there's not much of a patio. I like to get this shot kind of from outside the patio. So you get it kind of in the on the side of the frame there and then also kind of like what's beyond the patio. We can grab another shot. A little bit closer to the back of the house in the corner here. Gets a nice perspective of the whole back side of the house. I'm not too sure where the property line ends on this house. I'm assuming it's, uh, if it's similar to the person next door, it looks like it probably goes back to the end over there. Um, I think we'll just probably stop shooting from here. And then I guess we can get a shot of that separately. We can also try to get something maybe straight on from the back. Gotta make sure you're careful when you walk around brush in the summertime. Uh, might find yourself standing next to a snake. We've already shot a lot towards the back of the house. I think this one would be good to take from the corner over here. 
and then that way we can show the actual backyard because we're also shooting the property not just the house itself so we want to make sure that we show that as well and then I guess we'll grab a shot back over here of this uh, sandy area because um, I'm not too sure if that's included or not so when I take this shot I'm gonna leave some of the sod in the foreground here because I don't I want to like give some perspective Got a water bottle here. Let's stick that in there for now. Now a lot of these uh, new construction homes are going to have this uh, carpet remnant by the front door, kind of like a doormat. So we're gonna we're gonna move that out of the way for the photos. And it's usually pretty dirty, so I am going to set it inside, but I'm just going to be careful that it doesn't unwrap. I don't want to put all that dirt on the inside of the house. All right, so we'll get a shot of the entryway here. So that way, when you're looking online, you know what it looks like when you walk up to the house. This house has like these trees right here. Um, so they're going to kind of block the view of the house. So I'm going to take something from the trees. That way you can see the house without any obstructions. And then I'm going to take some further back so you can see kind of the whole property with the trees as well. Now, typically when I shoot the further away exteriors, I like to raise my tripod all the way up just to get a higher shot. But this particular house where, uh, We're sitting up a little bit higher than the house, so we don't want to be that high when we take the shot. Now, I just put my tripod in a bunch of sand, so I don't want to take that with me. And then we'll just get one shot from each corner, and that should be good. When I'm framing my shots, I try not to put a tree right in the middle. I try to kind of offset it a little bit. That way, that's not the first thing your eyes drawn to. Uh... Now, when I frame these shots from the driveway, I like to shoot on the other side of the concrete. That way, the front of your shot is not um, concrete. And I'll show you real quick what that would look like. Um, this would be a shot taken from the concrete. And at the bottom of the frame here, it's just so much concrete and uh, people will complain about that. Um, so if you come over just a few feet, put the grass in between you and the driveway, you get a much better looking shot here. Um, I zoom in, get those pallets out of the way. And also what I like about this shot is that we can see kind of back past the house, uh, see the backyard and all the trees. So let's take this one. And that should be it for this house. So we're just gonna go back inside. I'm gonna put the paper back on the counter and uh, put that hose back under the patio so it doesn't sit out in the sun. But uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.